Um, so next case, we have a really young patient, 19 years old uh, lady, and uh, uh, obese lady actually, and a uh, chronic drinker. Um, from the looks, uh, she drinks whiskey, and uh, she uh, presented with acute on chronic pancreatitis with abdominal pain, also amenase up to more than a thousand. So uh, MRCP has been performed, uh, showing uh, atrophic pancreas and also an uh, obstructive uh, pancreatic ductal stone in the head of pancreas. So uh, this is the MRCP picture. And today we will have a ERCP plus splice gas uh, plus or minus a lever lithotripsy. Good. So uh, as you can see here, we have a very large uh, minor papillar at uh, one o'clock, but according to MRCP, and therefore it's so important to have MRCP before we proceed to ERCP. Uh, there is not a large um, duct to the minor papillar, so in the the dorsal duct is quite uh, narrow. And uh, the main duct is also very tight and the stone is obviously impacted quite close to the papilla. So our plan is to cannulate the PD to do if we succeed balloon dilatation and then we see if we have to fragment the stone and we could uh, try to do it intercorporally with uh, spyglass. Okay. So for cannulation I'm using the uh, sphincterotome, this is the autotome. And I direct the tip into a two o'clock position in a right angle. So I carefully try to insert it a little bit deeper, hopefully into the direction. So as you can see, I carefully maneuver the tip before we start with trying cannulation or injection. So I feel there's some resistance, so I, at this stage I can now ask Natalie to try carefully to push the wire forward. Can we have the floral view, please, a bit bigger? It's resistance? Okay. Yeah, okay, so there's some resistance. Yeah. But uh, at this stage we can inject a little bit contrast to see the anatomy, and maybe we can even more magnify the image. Okay, inject a little bit. Can we mag up one? Magnify. Okay, that's, yeah, okay. Yeah. Resistance? Yeah, a little bit resistance here. Yeah. Okay, so I pull it back a little bit. No, so far we don't see. So I change the position again. It might be very narrow according to what we saw on Ooh. MRCP. So I carefully move around a little bit. Try it again now, firstly, to push the wire forward. Yeah, can I have yeah, still a little okay. Here. So and you see, it's not necessary to screen all the time when you're working with the wire because yeah. actually the yeah. cues come uh -huh. to to Natalie and to Horst that the wire is either feeding in or not. So uh -huh. you don't have to screen continuously, which exactly. I think is mm -hmm. which common. wire are you using now, Horst? This, this is a hydro uh, wire with a there hydrophilic tip. Yeah, right. Yeah. Now and you see, did you see, did you see that okay. pop? You, you notice yes, the yes. pop? Then yeah. Now push the wire forward a little bit. I feel a little bit resistance at the front. Okay, then I think this is always the discussion, which I think it's a little bit artificial. Uh, guide wire first or injection. We need some in injection now at this stage to see the anatomy. So well, inject anyway, a little bit. chronic pancreatitis, so we don't have to worry. Yeah. Injecting? Yeah. Yeah, so, so we okay. see. There's a stone. Stone is just in front of, obviously. Can you see that? Yes, yes, we can. So. Uh, okay, this Big will stone. be very difficult to overcome. Uh, so I try. To, so I ask now. We can try to pass the stone on both sides. So I ask you now. I'm a little bit deeper inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I yes. Try? There we go. So I follow, inject a little bit again yeah, to see. Yeah. It's a stone cast, actually. Oh, it's a stone cast. Yes. Yeah, so, so now we na several okay. Stones in perfect. The yeah. So loop, push it. A loop formation is yeah. always good in the pancreas. So and I, so to overcome now, you see the sharp angle between on the image between now the position of the sphincter tome and the duct and to overcome I have to pull the endoscope back watch it on fluoroscopy 
So I pull the scope back a little bit to straighten the angle to come a little bit deeper inside. Okay, now pull the wire back a little bit. Pull back a little bit. Okay, so uh, I can, okay, I cannot pass it alongside the stone. So again, I pull the scope back. Otherwise, we, would, we could already do sphincterotomy at this stage. No, yeah. I'm a little bit deeper inside. You see my maneuvers with the, with the endoscope. And the, the but I probably, yeah. with a sphincterotome, I can probably not pass yeah. the stone, okay? Push, try to, pu to inject a little bit. And get rid of the contract. Yeah. The the advantage is you shorten the distance to the stricture yeah. and the okay. stone. The disadvantage is that the, okay. the contrast study is not as good okay. because okay. the contrast gushes out. So you cannot push the wire more forward, even with a loop? Huh? Um, maybe, maybe, yeah. maybe. It's in the side branch. Oh, yeah, yeah it's in the okay. side branch. So I pull, I pull the sphincter tom back now. Uh, so push the wire slowly a little bit forward. So we, we will now do a pancreatic sphincterotomy. Then we have more space to maneuver. And for this purpose, I switch off. I switch off the endocut function. So this is now pure cut. And um, so push the wire a little bit forward to keep access. And now bend the sphincterotome a little bit. Okay. What was the purpose of switching off the uh, endo cut? You want pure cut. A pure, pure cut, cut to minimize uh, thermal injury on the pancreatic orifice. Maybe it can reduce the risk of pancreatitis and also restructuring or stricture formation. Yeah, but there is, no, yeah. Yeah, there is no scientific proof for it. Bend a little bit more. And as you can see, now you see the blue ring of the autotome. That means we have less than one third of the cutting wire inside. And now I cut in the one or two o'clock position. So I push the sphincter tone a little bit with. And you see, I don't touch the catheter, but I just move the shaft of the endoscope to direct. You see, I can very precisely control the position just by rotating and by moving the shaft of the, of the endoscope. So, and I have only now a small part of the cutting wire inside. And we can now nicely look into the duct. Mm, so, pancreatic sphincterotomy is very yeah. susceptible to late stenosis. So, that's why we use a cutting yeah, current yeah. as so and, opposed to biliary. Okay. Yeah. So, and, and now to avoid to cut too far, you can control it millimeter by millimeter, just with small steps. So this should be already enough. Relax. So yeah, please relax. relax. Now we, ch we see if we can change now the position. So with fluoroscopy, so pull, pull, pull it back. Yeah, pull it back yeah. and, and try it again now. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. The distance Perfect. Is known is shorter. Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. Be uh, hopefully, this is pancreas. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay, you get some contrast. So I, I con <laughs> yeah, now yes. we inject some contrast. Yeah. But this is uh, Natalie, so she has the responsibility. I <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Hello, so in, in, She's the inject best. some contrast. <laughs> okay. Yes. Oh. Can you follow? Mm -hmm. uh, I follow. Um, where is it? No, this is now. Is this going to? Yes. I pull it back a little mm -hmm. bit to see. May, is it? It's resistance. You feel resistance? No, no, no I, it's definitely in the duct. Yeah. yeah, it should be in the duct. Yeah. Oh. 
But you, do you inject? No. No, please yeah. inject. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Do you think still in the pancreas? No, I'm yes, that's to me. Uh, this po huge yeah, possibly. Uh, we can see the possible no dunk. Yeah. You see the huge stone, huh? Huge. Yes. yes. Really? Left is in it, and so now huge. See the and and now see? you yeah. see uh, yeah. alongside the spine, you yeah. see the dilated duct. Yeah. Yes. yes. So this actually is a okay. complex uh, stone and structure. So, yes. Mm -hmm. no, now you're in a side branch. branch. You're in yeah. a side branch. Yeah. yeah, but maybe it will bend out. Uh, you bend. Yeah. Uh, so I follow with the swing to tom. Pull it back. Pull it back. Pull back. And push it again. What will you do for such a big stone? Yeah. The, this usually. Usually we would proceed to extracorporeal shockwave lithotripsy. But because the stones are so close to the pancreatic orifice, uh, we can use, try to use spyglass. There we go. Oh, yeah. there we okay. Go. Okay, so that means we will now lock the wire. That means Natalie will split the wire and prepare a six millimeter hurricane balloon, split the wire yeah. from the sphincterotome, just, okay. Well, no house. We need oh. to start the uh, nature now. Oh. You lost the wire, eh? Yeah. You split, split it. So, so, so. Okay, but the sphincterotome is deeply inside. Now I can manipulate the wire by myself. There we go. There we go. Nice. nice. So okay. loop formation is Beautiful. always good. Beautiful. So, uh, yeah, welcome back. So we had. Uh, some problem with sedation of the patient and we had to discontinue the procedure for a while um, but now we are back we patient is now in the left lateral position so it's a little bit more difficult now to maneuver the scope we already uh, uh, performed the balloon dilatation can you please flash now yes. uh, the balloon dilatation of the pancreatic sphincter and now I try to insert the spy scope more deep in duct. We already saw the stone, um, but we cannot insert it over a wire because I had to preload it with a laser fiber. So we see that I try to recannulate the duct now after dilatation. I was just in front of the stone, but then the patient moved again. So, uh, all area, when we perform also cholangioscopies and lesions are very close to the ductal orifice, then it's quite difficult sometimes to manipulate, in particular because the duct makes an angle here. So, as you can see, I can nicely maneuver the tip, what we are just still just in front of the wall. Now we see some whitish material. We're coming closer. Yeah. Keep on flushing. Yeah, we keep on flushing. Yeah. But this is not yet the duct again, so I pull it back a little bit. Now we are deeper in the duct. Okay. Okay, Pause. Yes. so uh, now back. We, are, we are in front of the stone. I hope you appreciate side branches and the stone is in the main duct. It is. And I start to fragment. Ready. Switch, okay. Yes. We already broke a part of the stone, so we have to be very careful. And you see, I maneuver the scope with, the stone is already broken. I can crash it into even smaller pieces now, but it's completely broken as you can see already. I try to target the larger piece here. 
we can nicely see all side branches. Flush, flush. Yeah. But we are so close to the papilla. Okay, we see it again, the main duct, the fragmented parts, side branches here. I fragment again. But it's already broken, so we go alongside the stone. Here we see nicely the side branches, no damage of the duct. S stop flushing. Mm -hmm. So I fire again. Is it a continuous water flow inside the spike gas? It seems to... Yeah, this is the, as we saw yesterday, the digital spy. And you can, so with a 1.2 millimeter, 1.3 millimeter working channel, and you can uh, really appreciate the, now flush again. So we flush, we are close to the papilla. So I think the duct is completely free now here. So I pull this spice slowly back and I advance the scope more deeply into the main pancreatic duct. We can nicely see also the side branches, the vessels, so we didn't cause any trauma here. Some stones in the side branches. Here is uh, still a larger, we are in the main duct, stop, stop this flushing. You can see I can manipulate and can even approach side branches, so I advance. Let me see. Flush again. No, patient is moving again. But I think we already achieved, no, the patient is moving, I'm out of the duct now again. But I think we should be able to remove the stones now with baskets or balloons. So um, I think we could nicely see that we can visualize the pancreatic duct uh, very nicely and could uh, fragment the stone, but in, uh, the interest of the patient and maybe better to stop or we can discuss to try to remove the fragments because it's very difficult uh, to proceed with sedation here. Okay, so um, the house. Uh, uh, we would like to show you more or less the final stage when you have the, uh, the duodenoscopic image you see all the fragments we could remove. Yes. And uh, do you have also now the, uh, the uh, fluoroscopic image, the x-ray? Can we have the fluoroscopy image? Yes. Yes. And as you can see, now there is a stricture still quite close to the papilla, but we removed all stones. The balloon is uh, just at the level of the, of the papilla, but there are no more stones um, inside the duct. And therefore, we will dilate the stricture now to six millimeter with a hurricane balloon, uh, followed by stent uh, implantation, probably eight to 10 French uh, six centimeter stand uh, to, um, to keep the stricture open, but at least uh, the patient is free of stones. So how long you would like to keep the stand inside? Three months. Three and then months. we see if uh, we could negotiate the stricture or if we have uh, to replace the stand and do it for one year. Okay, thank you very much. So and as uh, you can see now, how much material comes out of the out of the duct, good. after complete fragmentation. Very good. Um, so we, Push while you are placing the stand, we go back to OT first. Thank okay, you. Okay, okay. Boss? Yes. So uh, what you are doing? We place now a seven French, seven centimeter pancreatic stand. Why, uh, why seven, not, why not a bigger one? Uh, I was told this is the usual stand, oh, which I is, see which is placed here and it's, I think we nicely dilated so it's probably enough for this, sometimes for this we, procedure. So sometimes we make the beery stand uh, more side hole to use it as a pancreatic stand. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So as you can see, the stand is long enough and now I can pass the stricture which could be nicely dilated and uh, 
now we, we release the stent. So we take it off. Okay. Okay. I take the wire out. And Everything out, right? Yes. Still a lot of stone famine coming out. No, I think it's in, it's in a good position. As you can see on fluoroscopy, it bypasses uh, the it negotiates the stricture and is free in the lumen. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Nice demonstration. Thank you.